We're going to be visiting some important preference settings in this movie. I want to point out up front that these settings aren't critical per se, but I like to recommend that my students set it up like that in their preferences for an optimal use of Photoshop. And of course, along the way, as you set up your own unique way of working, you can go right back in there and reset these preferences to your liking. So to get started, either type Command K or Control K on the PC, or simply choose Preferences from the Photoshop menu and then choose General. In the General pane, I recommend that you choose Bicubic Sharper for interpolation. Now this was new to version CS and it'll make sure that the resizing and the scaling work you do is calculated with precision and with sharper looking edges. Next, I usually recommend some of these settings to creative professionals that are involved with print and web design. First, turn off export clipboard. This is to avoid delays when switching applications. Likewise with show tooltips. Unless you're a rank beginner or someone that needs a little extra reinforcement when using a new version of Photoshop, for instance. I tend to use Zoom Resizes Windows checked for convenience because it's really a personal preference, but I like to see how it zooms the windows at the same time when I zoom in and out of applications. When you get familiar with using the Bridge software, you'll want to check Automatically Launch Bridge. I leave this unchecked because I have Photoshop and Bridge launch automatically when I boot up my computer. Next, Use Shift Key for Tool Switch is another one of those personal preferences. I keep this option unchecked because it allows me to toggle between the nested tools in a faster way just by typing the letter shortcut associated with the group. In the next pane called File Handling, I set the option Maximize PSD and PSB File Compatibility set to Never. This way I can avoid being asked if I want to save a flattened version of the file at save time. However, if you are a digital video professional or someone that needs backwards compatibility, you might set this option to Ask instead and decide on a case-by-case -case basis. In Display and Cursors, I like to set the cursors to show the normal brush tip combined with the Show Crosshair in Brush Tip. Now this option is new to version CS2 and it actually gives you the best possible options with combining the precision of a crosshair at the center with a soft edged brush. If you choose Full Size Brush Tip, it allows you to preview the edge that really does the work when using soft edge brushes. In units and rulers, I like to set the units to pixels, which is a nice absolute measurement for these raster images. If you're doing work that will be combined in any way with artwork from a vector program or page layout, you can switch the rulers to another unit system on the fly and I'll show you how in the movie titled Favorite Shortcuts. Next, I always urge my students to set their fastest drive with the most amount of free disk space to be their primary scratch disk. I happen to use a clear partition of a large and very fast external hard drive to be my primary scratch disk. This allows me to perform a regular tune-up on this partition to keep it optimized and I don't have to worry about backing up any files in that drive before I do this. And finally in the type section there's a new preference setting that allows you to set the previews in the font menus to a nicer larger size. That was a really smart move I thought and pretty considerate on Adobe's part. And now that you've got your preferences saved you can simply quit the program or exit it. These preferences are then saved in this exact condition and will reappear when you launch the application.